Well, our Wednesday morning kicked off with some snow showers, and in fact, they're still lingering for most of our area as they will end up becoming a little bit more scattered by our afternoon. As of right now, taking a look at our WREX camera, still seeing some of those flakes flying around even here in Winnebago. Definitely seeing a little bit of a dusting there on the lawn as we will end up seeing a little bit more snow come down into our afternoon. Taking a look at exact track right now, a lot of that snow is slowly starting to wrap up, especially the further north that you go, becoming very light in nature might just see a couple of flurries up north, but a little bit further south looks like we are seeing a little bit more heavier snow, if you will, closer to places like Dixon, really starting to line up with I-88. You're even seeing some of that south of DeKalb as well, as we are going to see a little bit of a clearing before we head into the early afternoon. So later today, we'll still end up seeing some snow showers, and because of some of that snow, we are still seeing some limited visibility down to about a mile in Freeport to closer to Sterling, even through Rockford and Rochelle. So keep Keep that in mind as you head onto the roadways for the rest of our afternoon. And if you haven't yet, you might have noticed some slick spots as well. So give yourself some extra time to wherever you are commuting throughout our Wednesday. In terms of the rest of the day here on Future Track, we'll see some scattered activity moving through the early afternoon, especially as we get closer to even the early evening. This is just before 7 p.m. We'll end up seeing these bands of snow slowly starting to set up. Now, notice not everyone will see it. They are rather isolated in nature, so we are going to end up seeing that into our afternoon before we see more of a clearing into tonight. So we get a break from any activity overnight. Cloud cover though still sticks with us, taking you through your Thursday, seeing a little bit more snow returning, but notice very isolated in nature, mainly just some flurries expected for tomorrow. Might get some pockets of briefly lighter snow as we head into the day tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll clear out and stay dry by Friday. Into today, though, we still have that chance for some scattered activity. May even see some gustier snow showers, if not snow squalls. Mainly expected after 1 into about 6, if not as late as 7, heading into this afternoon. But do you remember what a snow squall is? We saw this last year, one of the first times in quite a bit. That's an intense burst of snow. Those conditions drastically changed. Very short, though, done within an hour or or less, but those winds can get anywhere up to about 50 miles an hour, creating very dangerous road conditions as we do see those quick bursts of heavy snow, really kind of like a mini blizzard. So you'll likely get an alert on your phone if there is a warning issued and things like that. So keep that in mind as we do have that chance into this afternoon. Not everyone will see it, though. It will be rather isolated. Otherwise, everyone's going to feel those cooler temperatures. So we'll still climb into those mid 30s. Winds are going to stay rather calm as we end up seeing that activity exit into tonight. We'll see cloud cover lingering as we drop into those mid 20s. After that, your temperatures really take a tumble, especially by the time we get closer to our weekend. That Arctic air really starts to move in and it takes over much of the Great Lake region as we will end up falling into the teens overnight. Your wind chills may even be in the single digits. So taking a look at that most accurate 10 day forecast, we'll end up seeing a lot of that snow exit as we head into the day tomorrow. Might just see some flurries. Your temperatures, though, really Really take a fall into Thursday and Friday, 23 degrees by Friday. Your wind chills will fall into the single digits, if not slightly below zero heading into the weekend as that Arctic air takes over Manny.